Good morning. It is Sunday, July 10th, day 65. We are leaving West Yellowstone and going to Ennis. It's about 70 miles. A bit nippy this morning, but no rain is expected. I'm sure it's going to warm up and we should have a great ride today. Looking forward to it. Look at that, Ennis, 71 miles. One mile down, 71 to go. Early morning steam on the Madison River with mountains in the background. Pretty amazing. It's only 43 degrees out. So the water is over 43 anyway. Pretty nice view this morning. Well, I just saw another gray fox run across the road in front of me. I'm not quick enough with the camera and they are pretty quick. So I think I might have gotten a picture of it after I crossed the road and went down the hill. But we'll have to wait till tonight to find out. So in 1959, there was a big earthquake in this area. And you can see back in the distance, an area where there are no trees that actually had a big landslide that came down and blocked the flow of the river. The river here flows from my left to my right and it blocked the river and caused this lake to form. And they call it Earthquake Lake. And you can see there's still a fair number of trees in this lake from 1959. Sorry to say 28 people died from the earthquake and the resulting uh, flood and water backup. A closer look at the landslide area caused by the earthquake. Ennis, 41 miles. It used to say 71. This is just such a beautiful little valley I'm riding through. I know you could probably get tired of looking at these, but I don't. They are just unbelievable. And to think that I've pedaled my bike from Yorktown all the way here under my own power is amazing to me. So tell me, what are you fishing for here? Fishing for here is rainbow trout, brown trout, and whitefish. This is the Madison River, and from Quake Lake to Ennis, it's known as the 40 Mile River. So it's, a, it's one of the premier trout streams in the United States. And are most people pretty good at catching the fish? Uh, some of them are. Yeah. Some of them are good, some of them are. What, but, what can you tell me about all these flat boats I see? Well, the flat boats are pretty much uh, guided boats that uh, you know the guides uh, fishermen pay guides to uh, travel oh, the river i see how that works okay great thank you so here's one guy in the madison river fishing for rainbow trout and brown trout it's interesting to watch the clouds play on the mountainsides Still seeing riders going west to east. Here's another one. Where are you headed? So we have been riding through this valley for 15 miles with mountains on one side, mountains on the other side, 
and we're cruising right down the middle of it. It's been going on and on. It's been a great ride. It is now 11.30 and it's all the way up to 70 degrees. We started out at 43. It was pretty chilly this morning. But it's been a great ride so far. We've got about 55 miles in and about 15 or 20 to go. A little, a little bit of drafting this afternoon. The Madison River just outside of Ennis. It's a pretty big river here. Entering Ennis. Ennis. It looks like it's a one street town, but it looks like a neat street. The Ennis Cafe. It's got such a neat front, we decided to try it out for lunch. It's got like one, two, three, four horses, and a cowboy riding another horse. Neat looking place, with fresh strawberry pie. Well, we had lunch at in Ennis. It was okay, the service is terrible, but as most places are right now, they're short staffed. They literally had three people working in the whole restaurant. We're now riding the last couple miles to our campsite. We're gonna set up camp and hopefully go back into Ennis and check it out. It looks like a neat little town. Really windy out here. This is the main reason we started early today. We have 73 miles in and it's 2.30 so that was good. And that was after taking 45 minutes for lunch. Ennis RV Village. It's a Sam Good Park. Look at the views we get from our camp. Unbelievable. Snow-capped mountains, neat looking clouds. Beautiful. To the Ennis RV campground. And the nice thing about it, they actually have tent camping here. We're in number 11 and 12 which are right down here. There's 10. There's 11. And there's 12. Home for the night. That patch of grass. So we've got our campsite all set up. Mark's tent, Joel's tent, Dave's tent, Wade's tent, Al's tent. And we're uh, sort of battening down the hatches cause looks like it could be raining here in a little bit. But look at the views we have. They're gorgeous. If we're gonna be here, we'll leave early in the morning cause we have another 70 mile day tomorrow. We have a couple other east to west bound bikers one campsite down from us they've been sort of hopscotching with us too back and forth <laughs> 